All right. Should we back? Yep. We should Hold be good back. to go. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Oh, I hope people. Did the video come back for you? Um. No, but we're loading it. Hold on. It says loading video. I just. Uh oh. Oh, yep, I see it now. You do? Mm-hmm. Tell us, tell us when you all see our video. Okay, all right. He, he was worried. Yeah, I was worried for a second <laughs> yeah. there. So, what, what, is, what is that? All right, cool. Um, let's, let's get this going. Let's get this going. All right. And I'm, I'm sure I'll smell it soon, so it'll be all right. All right. And then, because I don't want to get tweeted, boom, tweet that closed. All right, babe, let's do this. Okay. Um, where? Oh, there they are. Hold on. Right there. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh, you got the bird. <sighs> That's my baby. I could have waited until I was on air, but no. That's fine. I know it's on YouTube, but everybody burps. We know this. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. All right. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your presidential couple Jay and Renee Valentine Today is Monday, February 18th, 2013. And this is episode 95. Five away from the big 100. I know, I know, I know. And when uh, between 100, we get a handwritten note from the president oh, saying man. happy 100th. That's what is awesome. That's going to be so awesome. At least that's what I heard. Yeah. That things that turn 100, they get letters from the president. Yep. The saying. Yep. So, and... So, welcome back to the Valentine cast. Hello. Um, I'm Jay, and this is my lovely wife, Renee. We're a couple from Louisville, Kentucky, and we're <laughs> glad you're here to share a little bit with us uh, what we have going on in our lives. I feel like you're trying to re renew our vows every yeah. time you do that. Yeah, it's like, you know, babe, you know, I just, I just love you. I want to recommit <laughs> my life to you. I just want to... I'm going to podcast with you. I just want to just... Every, every podcast that we do together, I just absolutely enjoy. I wonder who's throwing up now. But I just want to spend the rest of my podcasting life with you. Only podcasting? And, and my not other very life, nice. too. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, welcome. We're uh, here. Yep. Yep. Tell you how we did some stuff. Um, It was Splurge Day today. Today was a Splurge Day. We love Mondays. We get to eat bad stuff on oh, Mondays. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, Jay was like, you know what? I'm going to get me a steak. Yep. So we had steak and french fries. And if you don't know me, I freaking love french fries. Like, I could eat a big thing of french fries for dinner, and that's it. And I'm trying to remember the last time we actually had fries. It's been we a had long them. time. I remember we bought them frozen and we for a treat. Right. We bought a bag, but it was a few months ago, yep. I think. And it was, it's been a while since we had, so um, we, we, we had some fries, you know? And... I like the crinkle because it holds all the ketchup, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I get like tons of ketchup. Oh fry. yeah, oh yeah. And Jay fried up steak for us, so it was lovely. We and we sat there and watched Talking Dead. It was good. We did because because last night was um um the Downton Abbey uh was the, the Downton Abbey mm -hmm. um I'll, finale. Yeah, I'll talk about that briefly. And um <laughs> the Downton Abbey finale, and it kind of was two hours long, and we had to watch. 
um, Walking Dead after that. But um, so we end up watching Talking Dead because we, you know, we missed it last week, mm-hmm. and we kind of enjoy watching Talking Dead, kind of, especially after this last one with Crazy Rick. You know, you know, trying to figure out he's a nut. How 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 long is that going to go? Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into a little bit of the weekend wrap up. The weekend wrap up. Mm, who had the volume up? <laughs> this it time. sounded fine, didn't it? Yeah, it sounded great. I'm just talking about oh, normally. Oh, you didn't fail, you mean? No, I didn't fail this mm-hmm. time. I was actually on my my P's and Q's and crossing my T's and dotting my I's today. So I'm um, just going to jump right into a weekend wrap up. And this weekend we had our awesome, my awesome sister in law, mm-hmm. Renee. And my awesome sister. Your awesome sister. Dr. Deidre Crocker. Dr. Know, Crocker. Dr. Crocker was in town, <laughs> and we got to hang out with her and the family immensely. Yeah, like the whole family hung out over my mom and dad's house. Mm-hmm. Mom made uh, Deidre her favorite meal because when the people, when it's your birthday or you, or Deidre when she comes in from out of town, they get, <laughs> they get their favorite foods made for them. Uh, right. So we had roast. and Well, well, that just started yeah, like in December for Dee's birthday. But now it's a must because she can't do it for Dee and not do it for everybody I know, else. I know. And Dee so, is my brother-in-law. Yeah. Bro-in-law. So, uh, you know, I, I, I did a Facebook post and I said my brother-in-law. Is Demetrius my brother-in-law? Yes, he is. Okay. Because I was like, well, you know what? That means that I'm Renee's brother if he's my brother-in-law. That's not true because <laughs> you can be a brother-in-law in two different ways. Okay. All right. It can be your sister's husband, or it could be your um, sister-in-law's husband. sister-in-law's husband. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fair. I, I can deal with that then, because I was getting a little creeped out thinking about it. In my mind, I was like, "But that's like Renee and I, are like brother and sister." And I start getting a little creeped you out. You could just ask me instead of getting creeped out. Well, I figured I'd do it on the show because it'd be good <laughs> content, you know. But I was thinking about that. Um, and then also, we played a little bit of Borderlands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I would I wouldn't mind him playing more, but we didn't have time. Yep, we had yep. to spend time with family. Yeah, but I love family time. Yep, Just putting it out there. <laughs> it, you know, your mom listens to the show, right? I know, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay if you've been over here for an hour and a half, oh, Renee. Oh, so funny. So we we went over there. Was that Friday? No, it was Saturday before that we went out. Saturday. So we went over there Saturday. Right. And we were ch- and we chilled out about an hour and a half and mm-hmm. then we needed to go run errands. And then my sister was about to come over and so I was talking to her on the phone and I was like, Yeah, we we we've been over here about an hour and a half. Right. And mom was like It's okay. It's, it's okay to be over here for an hour and a half. I was like, I was just stating fact, Mama wasn't say I was over here too long. Right. <laughs> like, right. okay, mom, but mom mom just likes to see us. Yeah, and that, and that's perfectly fine. So I understand. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And then, um, so we did that. We ran, ran some errands. We got some new shoes. You know, picked up some shoes. And then after we picked up the shoes, we did something else. And I am drawing the blank. Oh, so we went and picked up our shoes, and we went to Stevens and Stevens because I wasn't on call any longer. Right. And um, I, I had to get out of the house for a little bit. <laughs> And then we stopped by Best Buy, which traffic on Saturdays down on um, Shepherd, um, Shepherd Shelbyville, Road. Shelbyville Road is horrible on the weekends. Horrible. Because. It's always bad, though. The way it is, on, there's the interstate. And then from the interstate, you can either go right, you either go west of the interstate or east of the interstate. And there's a mall on both sides. Two different malls. The one, one mall is more of a high-end mall that has, like, Von Mar and, and rich folk go. And that's Macy's. Where the rich folk go that's where the, the older rich folk go. You know, and then the other side of the mall where all the young folk go, that, where you have your Forever 21, you know, two or three Game Stops in there. <laughs> I think there's an there's an arcade in there yeah. still. Yeah, I think and it's the still there. F, yeah. F, F, FYE music. FYE music is there. Is yes. there as well. A little more for the younger crowd. Right, and the Apple store is in the old folks mall, <laughs> um, but it's because it's Apple and it's right. upscale. The more oh, upscale. I don't want to talk about that in the hundred thousand okay. dollar door. I will. <laughs> I will put that in there. And then so, it. but the traffic is horrible down there because everybody's coming to the mall. 
you know, everybody out from out at Bardstown or Shelbyville or Simpsonville, they all come in the, <laughs> coming to the mall, you know, because they don't have one in their small town, which is fine. It's fine. But I'm telling you that that the traffic is like backed up. It's almost horrible. And they're talking about putting a movie theater um, in that mall. And yeah, so it'll be even worse. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. I've been dealing with it for all this time. Yeah. But it seems like it's just gotten worse, you know. Mm-hmm. But, hey. Hey. Do you want to say, we want to say hello? Yeah, to people in the chat room. I was going to, you read my mind. Oh, yeah. Go you ahead. So I want to say hi to everybody in the chat room. Yep. We have Beardsley from the Joker and Thief podcast. Yes, one of our love. podcasts that we featured in our podcast, podcast of, of the week. week. We did. And I love that show because mm-hmm. I always talk back to them all the time. So I, I end up sending like 30 tweets while I'm listening to the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Knezo, mm-hmm. no, 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 Knezno, Kynezno. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Punk Gopher, 76. Yep. He's in Tadpool. Yep. I know him. And Resting Willpower. He was here last week. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey thanks for coming everybody. out. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Thanks for coming out and everything. <laughs> Just I'm um, glad you all came out to listen to us live and everything. And if you'd like to listen to us live, you can catch us on Mondays. Just watch our tweet. It's either between 6.30 and <laughs> 9. But it leans more towards 6.30. Um, but that's twitch.tv slash valentinecast to watch us live. So... And then if you want to catch our shows after they've been recorded, youtube.com slash valentinecast. So, anyway, <laughs> um, jumping back to our weekend wrap-up, um, you also played some games this week. I did. Even though, um, even though we didn't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, um, so I really wanted to get some games in, so I did. And I played Nino Kuni. Um, got a little bit further in that. Uh, finally got my second party member, and I got my butt kicked trying to... Uh, uh, kill a bounty, but that's okay. Yeah, and you were getting pretty that's frustrated. Funny. I was, and I was like, if I die again, I'm going to turn it off, and I died, and I and did. And you turned it off. <laughs> that cracked me up. Well I, well, I don't think I'm supposed to do it yet. I yeah, don't, you probably have to do some more I don't know quests. if they have levels on them or not. I think they do. Then they were talking about doing, people were talking about having to farm. Yeah. You know, Nino yeah. Cooney, and that you have to do the side quest and all this other stuff, so. I mean, it's still really fun. Oh, yeah. So... I mean, I enjoy it for yeah. sure. Um, and then I played, did I play Bioshock this weekend? No. Well, you played this week afterwards. I mean, you played, I think oh, it was yeah. on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Last week, yeah. Um, but so you did play Yeah, Bioshock. I got through the second area. You caught up with me. I caught up with you. So yeah. now we're at the same place. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to read again. Um, read again. Play again. Because um, other things have my attention, like Borderlands. Like Borderlands 2. Oh, my goodness. Whew. And, uh. Then I played some WoW, a little bit of WoW, mm-hmm. not as much though. So I mean, I'm trying to focus, but I'll talk about. I, I can talk about that more in games because we aren't there yet. Yeah. But uh, I think that's all we did. And that's all I did. I think. And I have to tell you, if if you missed it today, today, uh, February eighteenth, two thousand thirteen. If you missed when the Burger King Twitter feed got hacked, mm-hmm. oh man, you missed some of the funniest stuff. This that is so that happened, true. you know. So <laughs> yeah, the, the um account for Burger King got hacked. Some U U G Nazi or something like that was who this is. Right. And uh, he just was talking all crazy. Yeah. <laughs> for uh for a while. Yep. So uh, it's funny. Yeah. I mean, I heard a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I doubt it, but <laughs> that their password was Whopper123. Uh, now, it'd be funny, though, if it was right. it really was, but I really doubt it was. But right. Are right. people that, yeah, people are. That uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it really depends. I mean, it, it You're it an admin. You see passwords. Yeah. I mean, you see the stuff like that, but I, I mean, uh, I don't know. You know, most of the time people don't try to get in. But I had someone today try to reset my Facebook password twice. What? Yeah. What'd you do? Oh, well, Facebook gives you a link that says, if you didn't request this password, click here. So I just mm. clicked there. So I, I didn't know. I mean, you can just ask me for my password, Renee, and I'll, I'll let you get in. Man. Do you know that uh, 
Sorry. You didn't hear what I said, did you? I, uh, you're going to let me get in Facebook. Oh, because you thought I was hacking. Oh, I was no. say, you just asked Sorry. my password. I was looking for a story. And do, do you know that country star that killed herself? Yes. She killed her dog before she killed herself. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Why did I laugh? Because. Why did why I laugh? Would, why, why did you, I laugh? Why do you kill your dog? Okay. That was wrong. Killed. I want to. I don't want people to think that I'm a bad person. I I think it's sad that she killed herself. I, I really do. Thank Thank goodness she didn't kill her kids. But why did I giggle when she said? Because who kills their dog before they? Well, maybe some people. Well, I don't she. Know. Well, you know, and then there there and there are people. This, this is what I don't get because she killed herself with a gun. Mm -hmm. There are people, of course, saying. If gun control was in there, oh, she wouldn't have had a gun to kill herself. Well, well, she wasn't crazy the whole time. Well, trust me, she would find a different way to kill herself. Right. If she really wanted to kill right. herself. So, right. So, I don't know. I, it's just getting a little on my nerves the whole... I mean, yeah. I, I, I know we need it, but I think people are, you know, taking every opportunity to jump on the gun control bandwagon. People don't know when to, you know, yeah. stop and they go too far. But yeah. sorry, I was looking for a particular story to link in. No, nah, I was just so. telling you didn't have to steal my yeah. you didn't have to reset it. You can just ask me. Well, but, well, you know I, you I'm know, trying to sneak. I what, can't I can't fine? look at your messages and see Well, my password on me. is banana hammock. Banana hammock 123? Yep. No, three two one. Three two one two three is too easy. <laughs> Banana hammock. I yep. remember the first time I found out what that was. Yep. <laughs> that was horrible. It was college. Yep. You learn so many things in college. And <laughs> let's jump right into a little bit of tech. Tech, 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 technology. All right. So I woke up Saturday morning and um I got on my computer and um I was on the web page. And I went to go use my scroll mouse, and all of a sudden, it, it was stuck. <laughs> stuck it, where? It was stuck. I mean, when I would scroll, it was, like, really hard to scroll. <laughs> it wasn't smooth. It's, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Anything like that. So, what did you decide to do about that? So, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to replace my trusty MX-518. And so, I started doing a little, and I like my MX-518. It's a Logitech. I like it because it has a good weight. You know, mm -hmm. good size for my, you know, my hands. And Renee has one, and I'm surprised you wouldn't want a smaller one. You know, I, you probably no, like that, it. No, I have man hands. You don't have man I hands. I have a, a a small man hand. Okay. So it fits very well. I, I never have a problem. And so, and plus, so I went on a hunt for a new mouse. So I ended up getting um the the newer version of MX-518. After, you know, folks helping me out and everything, they was telling me about the G700, the 600, and then also um, the Naga, Naga Razor. Naga. Naga. The That's Naga the, Razor. The Naga. The Naga Razor. <laughs> Remind me. Who did that joke? Naga. Naga. Oh, no. on uh, Django, probably. Oh. Probably think of Steven. Yeah, we're getting too close to saying the N-word. Naga. Naga. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna stop listening to our show because they think we're dropping the N word. Yeah, well, well, if they think we're dropping the N word, then they haven't listened to our show very much. Right, right. So, <laughs> 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 all right, but um, but yeah, um, I got you all flustered. I'm sorry. You did. You sorry. did. You did. I apologize. Um, let me see. <laughs> what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, so I found my, uh, I got the mouse, and, and while we were looking, I saw this G400, and the reason I wasn't going for the G600 it had the 20 buttons on the side, which would have been cool, um, um, which would have been cool, is that I wasn't sure if I was going to use all 20 buttons on the side of my mouse. Um, so I liked the, I liked the MX-518 because it had two buttons on the side, you know, and then it had some buttons up top. And also, it let me control the acceleration of my mouse. So, if I want to go turn around quicker or something like that, I can have it on a higher DPI, which, which you know, so that I can turn around quicker or if I'm sniping or whatever, I can slow it down so that I can, you know, really hit folks and stuff like that. So, I went with the um, the G400, which is the newer version of that. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pleased with it, uh, you know, because it just feels like my old mouse, you know, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, mine's fast enough. I haven't had any problems with it. Right. Why spend 30 bucks when I don't have to? Right. So um, I'm going to wait till mine goes out because I am a cheap person. Yep. And um, just the... Uh, um, also, um, on Saturday and Saturday morning... Not Saturday morning, but Sunday morning, I believe, mm -hmm. the Boulder Apple Store was burglarized. Uh, and, and you're probably like, why is this making news, you know, with me? Well, one, because, I mean, well, it's not because of the Apple Store. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I mean, it happened at 2 a.m. Saturday morning on February 16th. You jumped the gun. I had this in odds and ends, but that's all right. Oh, you did? No, no, no. Talk, talk about it now. Oh, I didn't because know. Because it's the Apple Store, so so it kind of makes sense. I see where you're going now. Okay. Um, but, but here's my thing. In the report, they said three large rocks were thrown through the Apple Store glass door and found inside the store lying on the floor. The door itself was worth $100,000. $100,000. dollars one Apple Store door. They have millions of dollars in glass doors. Dude. Hun is it, do, do they have over a hundred? No, they probably Dude, don't have hundreds of If they of have millions, ten, that's a million. So if they have ten stores. They don't have hundreds of millions, though. Man. But it's close. It's close. Oh, yeah. It's their money. They right. can spend it wherever they want. Right. I'm just like, man, what I could do with one glass door. There are currently more than 200 Apple stores in America, uh, well, in the world, more than two hundred. So they have hundreds of millions of dollars, right? Up in right, and doors. And I have to give it up to um, um, uh, um Ralph from mm -hmm. AIE. Mm -hmm. He said, um, he said that's what you get for building your, uh, building a, a glass store <laughs> in Boulder. Oh. <laughs> in boulder colorado <laughs> and then um my buddy mike from work he said that's what you get when you have a door that relies on windows <laughs> <laughs> so my theory here here's my conspiracy theory all right what's your conspiracy theory i think the people that the guards? No, no, no. I think the people who supply Apple with the doors, they hired those people to break the doors. Uh -huh. Thus, Apple would have to buy another door. I'm d hey, it makes sense, right? Right? <laughs> Come on now. Well, <laughs> Can I get some love over here? Well, no, but they actually stole stuff, too. I mean, they stole... Well, they had to make it look convincing. They stole... Six they couldn't just <laughs> break a door and leave. They stole, <laughs> six <laughs> they stole, they stole $63,000 worth of Apple products. Which is nuts. Um... I wonder if they can find them. Pro probably not. How are you gonna have? I'm. I'm. St and at one point, see, you know, I enjoy my Apple products. I'm not anti Apple at all. But I would say when I heard that their doors were worth a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> a part of me was sick. I, I, it kind of it, it it ate at my nerves a little bit. Yeah, I mean, money's wasted every day in this country that could be going to you know a better cause but right thus is well, the free capitalism about of the world it's not even about that <laughs> oh it's more about they could put that into their products more right yes well, no. i don't no, i don't know it's just the fact a hundred thousand dollars for a door it's true if they put that money into research and development i wonder how much they could get done i don't know but I mean, actually, uh, I mean, probably somebody at work at Apple. That's that's only a hundred thousand dollar door is a one year salary for somebody. That's so, true. They don't. You know, I view that, that as a lot of money. Right. So because I'm poor. So, so living out in California, <laughs> developer. You know, I'm pretty sure that's easily um, their salary. One of sure. their salaries. Yeah. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't be chip tripping out. Oh well, yeah, you can be a little bit it's, hey. because it's. I don't yeah, know. It's it a just, lot to us. It just hit me. It just hit me kind of. Yeah, I wonder well. how much cheaper our our um, <laughs> our products would be. You're right. If they didn't have a hundred thousand dollar store. That's <laughs> why their products are so overpriced because they have hundred thousand dollar doors. Yeah, and I, th I think that's why it yeah. bugged me so much. It's okay. like you know because they're For over the, good the top. Of the, uh, yeah. Yeah. I got you. I'm, I'm thinking about all of y'all. You know, <laughs> and I um, just want to say hi to. Dark Anders um, hey. it showed up in the chat room today. Hi, Dark Anders. And with that, we're going to jump right into a little bit of media. Media. Movies, books, comics, TV. 
All right, so so we had family in town and everything, and we did not get to watch our movie, The Brick. But I love when family comes in town. It's the perfect excuse. <laughs> so awesome. So we didn't get to watch Brick, um, but um, we did watch Friday with Danielle because Danielle had never never seen the movie Friday. And I didn't give her a pass because she is twenty five years old. Right. She should have seen Friday by now. Right. Right. So. Um, the reason Jane. the reason she shakes her <laughs> finger at you, Danielle. I wag, I wag, I wag my, my finger. finger. <laughs> Stop it. No. Stop it. Um, but the reason she, we had to watch it was um, she's a high school teacher, and she had students that were making references to the movie that she didn't understand, you know, because they were <laughs> like, because so they were like, go on, Felicia. <laughs> and that that was so and funny that she didn't know what it was. She didn't know what it was. <laughs> that was so, so awesome. And it made me re- so the reason I came to the realization is that my oldest daughter is she's soon to be sixteen. So that would make sense why some of their kids that she may that she may have in her class are hearing these references because the their mom and dads could be my age. And right. they may, their kid may be getting older. Like, come on, kid, I'm gonna show you I'm Friday. I'm gonna show you Friday because that's the initiation. That's the <laughs> movie when I was a kid that was awesome, you know. And you know, and this, this is what it was about, and it was a great, great movie. So we did that this weekend, and then um, Renee is going to a uh, role for um, our movie for next week that we're gonna pick on Netflix. I am, and it's gonna be a good one. Yep. And um, hopefully. So she's rolling the dice. Not in the mood for a horror movie. Horror. I hate saying that word. Horror I, movie. A horror. A horror movie. I can't. Can I say it fast? I can't help but think of what it sounds like. A horror movie. <laughs> yep. Oh shoot. Yep. <laughs> um, eighty-eight. Cra- oh. The crazy eighty-eight. Crazy eighty-eight is going to be. Freezer Burn. It's a comedy. Yay, comedy. With uh who is this? When he falls for girl for when he falls for girl half his half his age, a scientist plots to freeze himself and throw out years later when he and the girl would be the same age. <laughs> this sounds, <laughs> sounds like horrible. It sounds like a recommendal. This sounds like a recommendal. It's possible. It's a love story. It's possible that it could be a recommendal. And it's quirky. And it sounds, sounds a little out there, but uh, I'm willing to give that a try. Freezer Burn? Freezer called? Burn is the name hate, of it. I hate when Freezer Burn happens. It really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All that food going to waste and everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> um, and then also, so what did we do? $4,000 door. Oh, Downton Abbey finale. So we watched Downton Abbey finale last night. It was two hours. Okay. Well, it's more like an hour and forty. Yeah, it was hour. Yeah, which like was, an hour and a half, which yeah. we were happy about. <laughs> yeah, because we had other stuff to watch. So, um, I love Downton. Right. I love. I just love Downton. I love the clothes and. I'm. The I'm a fan of accents. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, of course. All kinds of accents. I just go gaga over. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I liked it, but then the, I think they went a bit far, but that's me. Right. But, uh, Jeff did say that they need to keep the drama going. Well, that, and then also someone, um, a request by someone on the show as well. So not to give any spoilers or anything yeah oh yeah but there was a request right also so mm-hmm. they had to respect that so they had to do something yeah yeah you know? yeah so so yeah um but i still <laughs> enjoy it i yeah. really do and uh there are some storylines i want to die but uh, the other storyline save it so speaking of storylines that she wants to die can we talk about crazy rick yeah so sure. <laughs> but and that is not a spoiler that's not a spoiler that is not people who have who, who haven't even seen it don't even know what we're talking about. Yep. But Crazy Rick. Yep. Needs to stop. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Kirkman. Yep. This needs to stop. I'm so tired of it. I thought it was gonna be over. Right. The first episode, but then it went to another and then another. I'm like, oh my god. 
So, it's, I'm, and, yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to be a re- reoccurring thing and everything. Yeah, well, you know, otherwise, it's good. Lots of lots of zombie heads getting mushed this past week. Yep. <laughs> it was more than usual. Yep. It was kind of funny, but anyway. So. Um, and then also talking about crazy, mm-hmm. we finally met up with Tiny Tina in Whoa! Borderlands 2. And <laughs> I, I have to say... Now, I watched the montage videos of Tiny Tina, you know. Spoiler. And, you spoiled yourself. Well, I had to a little bit because we were going to talk about it on Grump, in Grumpy Old Men. That's true. Um, but I, but it wasn't the same as actually playing Borderlands 2 and getting to Tiny Tina and meeting her for the first right. time. Tiny Tina is awesome. I'm saying Gearbox Borderlands series has my heart, you know. I am a I am a fanboy till I die for Borderlands. And the way that they introduce characters when they do their little thing and then they do that still shot, it's like you know, Tiny Tina, mm-hmm. the deadliest thirteen year old on Pandora. Uh, you know, yeah, like, I love that. And and uh there was that controversy that said that uh they're they're being racist because they're stereotyping black people. Let me right. tell you something. She don't sound nothing like a black person. Okay, the stereotypical black person. She does not sound like that at right. all. Uh, she sounds like a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, 13-year-old girl <laughs> so, trying to be urban. Yeah, That's, yeah, that's what I right. say. Mm-hmm. You know, she was trying to sound urban, but that's just her being her. Yeah, and I think she's hilarious. And plus it's Pandora. Does anybody, why, don't, why don't people it's, say anything about Scooter and the way he talks all country and everything? Yeah, he talks all country and I got Scooter. I got Scooter, y'all. <laughs> T- catch a ride, y'all. Where the cars live. This is where the cars live. <laughs> so, yeah, but nobody talks about Scooter. You know. <laughs> you <his>. know. <laughs> it is what it is. Yep. So, that was good. So, I would like to play some more. Yep. And more. Because I... I, I told Jay, if he ever wanted to ask me to play Borderlands, my automatic answer is yes. He didn't even have to ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he yeah. said, let's play Bo-, and then And then I was like, yes. Yep. He wouldn't be able to get it out. But anyway. So, um, we are talking about Friday and Borderlands. And do you want to talk any more about Nino Cooney? Um, or, or no, done? I'm fine. You're, I'm, you're I'm frustrated. Just, I'm a little... <laughs> Maybe I even looked up battle tips online to see if I was Final doing something Fantasy wrong. Final Fantasy has baby you. Okay, okay, <laughs> true. Final Fantasy, you don't have to move. You just stand. Well, right. The, the ones I played, you just stand there and cast spells. Right, right. This one, you gotta move. You gonna die. So. <laughs> well, some of them said that with the moving on Nino Kuni. I mean, in the first, you know, in the first few levels and stuff like that, it matters a lot. But as you get deeper into it, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, you still move, but it's not as you know as much as, right i mean as you do now. but i like it right i like it still so and i'm not even i haven't even touched the surface that much right and then um we talked about pixel people last week and i'm going to talk about it now is that i am still <laughs> digging that game <laughs> i have oh no idea gosh. why i love it it's yeah. so good and it's all they have a lot of tapping in there that we can do <laughs> yeah like <laughs> and, you know. and you can be in and out and done uh really yeah. fast yeah uh the simpsons is still awesome yep yeah. i'm uh they have a new level um you can get to 26 now mm-hmm. and um you can build wiggum's house at level 26 i think it's part of the quest but yeah so i just built channel six news um and we also watched some simpsons i'm through discs three mm-hmm. of season two um on simpsons so um this four is going to be starting pretty soon um right. we'll totally be watching that and then yesterday um if i'm thinking right about my time bungie um announced their new um ip right um i guess it's the best way to say it um and it's called destiny um or the new game and right. <laughs> you can pre-order this game right right smacking now you can pre-order this game <laughs> this is ridiculous and they didn't show one bit of gameplay not a single screenshot of gameplay well well no yeah no screenshot of gameplay they showed some pretty yeah. pictures mm-hmm. they showed a motivational video of the one <laughs> the lead developer or whatever it's his ridiculous. name was okay 
And Bungie, as you all know, is the great company that everyone loves that brought the Halo series, mm -hmm. you know. Which was good. Which, which was, was good. Really, and, really great for you know, guys. And I'm not hating on them because they're Bungie. I'm, you know, I, I, and plus you all know I am am a huge opponent to hype. I don't like a lot of hype. And this is the type of you hype. You hype up our show. This is the type of hype that I don't, but okay. we've got 95 shows. We're working on 95 okay. right now, so there That's is something true. to get hype There's about. There's content in there. There's content there. <laughs> um, Continue. But when when you're trying to build hype just off of, I don't like it when Blizzard does it. I'll say that. Yes. Yeah, if right. they bring something and they're just, you know, pie in the sky, you know, uh, it gets on my nerves. Right. So you it's should. fair across the board. You know, don't get me hyped up over something that you that this is visionary and i'm pretty sure there's probably something out there that get me hyped up yeah i mean they're just trying to get your money so they can charge but, interest on it yep so that so that it's so make money off of your money and that's all it is right are you okay oh sorry yeah my, <laughs> i'm i'm worried about our heat pump <laughs> I am really worried about our heat pump that well, is going to die. <laughs> yeah, and and it's supposed to get cold tonight, so that would really suck. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, you're fine. Is that, that's the heat pump going on. I, I don't know. I have headphones okay. on. I can't hear. All I hear is sorry, you. Sorry, which audience. Is, which is awesome. Yep. I love hearing you. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so Destiny, Um, I don't know what it is. Right. Like, is it a shooter? Did it, it's supposed oh, to be. Wait, wait, wait. You told it's, me this it's supposed to be like a... Um, like a yeah, I mean persistent it's a persistent world, world right? persistent online world, and kind of like a shooter and stuff like that. From what from what I understand, I didn't read too much on it, you know. Mm -hmm. And this game is supposed to have a ten year lifespan, you know. Really. And there are going to be con um, consoles only. They are not going to do any. They're just totally just said screw you, PC players. We're doing console only. Screw you, keyboard and mouse people. <laughs> I mean, so just think about that big, you know, they're banking on those folks that have Steam, those folks that enjoy playing the shooters on there, that they will move over and play, you I know. I mean, and if they don't have an Xbox, they would have to buy one. But they didn't even announce who what um, platforms will be on yet. I assume it's Xbox. Xbox has been promoting their yeah. new game. So I'm assuming they have a deal inked out. Right. Um, right. So, yeah. Right. Um, you want to say real quick, see you, Beardsley. Bye, Beardsley. Tell the lovely wife we say hi. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's Destiny. I mean, it, just the, the un, no, not, you know, like, you know, Dark Ender said here, you know, the hype over and, and no substance. I mean, mm -hmm. just, it just irks me to no end. I mean, that's. That's almost to the point of naming and claiming type stuff that, yeah. you know, give, but, hey, give me a hundred dollars and the Lord's going to bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even get me started, Jay, please. That's no, I'm just saying that, that's what it's right. Give, give me a hundred, give me a hundred and the Lord's going to bless you. And then you be like, my lights got cut off. Well, he blessed you. He's going to teach you perseverance through that. He blessed you. You aren't dead. You go. No, you say he's going <laughs> to teach you perseverance oh. through that. And I'm sorry for getting on religion. For a second there. That's why I said don't get me started. <laughs> so I'm hyper. I'm so excited. Yep. We got your um we got you something a little pre ordered for coming up did in Did you already March. do it? Huh? Did you already do it? I don't think we did it. We I thought you it. did it Saturday before we played Nino nope. Cooney. Didn't do it yet. Oh you didn't? Nope. What? You didn't? No, I didn't you, do it yet. You just opened the card up and yeah. you didn't do anything? <laughs> I didn't do it yet. But anyway, Tomb Raider's coming out next month. Mm, oh, yeah. Mm, mm, I'm so excited. So, yep. okay, this, I think I talk about her more than anybody else. You this, do. This is my girl. I love her. Um, new. It's a reboot. It's, this game takes place before the first Tomb Raider. Oh, nice. This is like serious origin story. Right. They're, they're redoing it. I saw some gameplay and I was drooling. It looks so good, and I cannot wait to uh, jump and shoot and do all the, and maybe her boobs will jiggle like the other ones. Yeah. So they probably will. They probably won't do it as much as they did in the other ones. This, <laughs> some of them were a little much, but so yeah. yeah. So Tomb Raider, I'll be um, counting down. Yep, March fourth. Yep. March fourth, and you getting the collectors? Yeah. Are you, are yeah, you still? I'm is that why you, is that why you're waiting because you're still debating? Yeah, I mean, it's and, they, and it, you worry it's about a, the PC. It's a lot of money to spend, but 
I really want that statue of Lara. Well, and, I and, told and, you it's and, for you know your what? birthday. Actually, I want the console now, so I'm I, fine. I told you it's for your birthday, I know, babe. I know. And I'm uh, that's okay. what I'm getting it for. <laughs> and I, <laughs> you, you want me to tell you what I was, was going to get you? So that you go ahead, we'll go ahead and get it pre-ordered? I don't know. I might freak out. Yeah, you'll probably freak out. So, so don't tell me. You might just want to go ahead and, and let's get this. <laughs> and I mean, I don't care either way because you're going to get either one of them. Okay. All right. I guess so. I'll go with the cheaper version. <laughs> I'm, I swear I'm the only wife who tells her husband to get the cheaper thing for their birthday. And and I don't oh, care either way because you, you're going to get you're going to get it. So. Okay. And uh, there's some new PlayStation 4 news. Uh, first of all, uh, they a, a photo of their new controller I think got leaked. I don't think it or or leaked in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, people tend to you know. And surprise, surprise! Mm-hmm. It looks just almost like it, it the looks, old one. It looks a little different. Actually. It's a little longer on the it's, handles. It's yeah, it, the uh, handles go more straight up and down instead of to to the side to side. They look more a little bit like yeah. this. Yeah, when, when I saw the the concept. It looked a yeah. lot more reminding like me of the Logitech. The Logitech. Yeah, but the I like how the uh, nubs, the Dual Shock, they have a little in indention in uh-huh. them. It's because my fingers slip off of those sometimes. Oh, okay. So I like that part. Okay. And people claim they don't like it, but I I like the design. Well, here's my thing. I mean, people love, you know, you don't want to get too close to Xbox controllers, you know. And now I think there are people that like the PlayStation controller better than the Xbox. I may be one of those people, um, oddly. Um, as a talking from a keyboard and mouse kind of guy perspective, but I've learned to appreciate um, the Xbox controller um, mm-hmm. and, and its um, flexibility to work on my PC. Yeah, um, I mean, I do appreciate the Xbox controller, but... Did you ever hold the original Xbox controller? Yeah, but I don't remember. Oh, my God. All right, so I first had the PlayStation. It was kind of slim and cool. Right. This Xbox controller, imagine this This has the mumps, or this has gained like 100 pounds, this Xbox controller. It is so bulky, and right. people were complaining about their hands hurting, like widespread. It was so bad. Probably and had to do like hand grip work it was, exercises. It was... To, it it was big but i'm right. glad they decided that they didn't need all that bulk i don't know why they did that they didn't consult anybody well they that. had to put the yeah. rumble pack in there and stuff <laughs> you know they should have had their r&d figure it out a little more well, make saying. it a little bit smaller yeah well you have to look at it i mean i kind of uh, you know, some people probably going to smack me around for saying this but i think of sony and their and the way the way they go towards their playstations and their paraphernalia mm-hmm. is more of that like apple where they don't change a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? They find one thing that works and they kind of stick with it. And it's hard for them to change that. Whereas Microsoft, they're always trying to, you know, innovate even more and more and more on, on that. You, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's what I think that's what um, they're doing there. Yeah, I mean, um, Dark Anders posted uh, the Wikipedia entry on the Xbox controller. Oh, if you oh I do see remember it. that one. Oh, my gosh, my hands. But I played it a lot, even though it was so horrible. I played it a lot. But uh, they came out with the... <laughs> they came out with the new one, and they actually had to do a smaller controller in J- in J- Japan. Right. Because of their smaller hands. Right. So That's racist. <laughs> That's right. So, so they finally brought it out to us, but at first it was just the Japanese who had it. Man. So yeah, yeah. Did, did you see how bulky? Yeah. Horrible. It didn't have, and plus it, it didn't have, it didn't have the bumpers. You notice that? Yeah. It makes a face on the um, on the picture on the right of the Wikipedia. The two <laughs> buttons down there. With you the see? smiley face. Yeah. And the cheeks. Yeah. Okay, and it has the little two nostrils right there. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and with that, <laughs> let's jump right into a little bit of food. The fridge is not prepared. <sighs> and you know who else is not prepared? Because we got a little um, try this going on. But let's do a let's do a wait um thing while I try to find some music to queue up for. Oh yeah, for we the did. Show. Yeah, we did used to have music. Yeah, this. we haven't done one in months. We haven't. So. Um, you want to do a, a weight loss update? Man? I will. Um, since, you know, 
I guess I can do it since I had the least to say. Uh, Jay lost a total of one pound this week. Woo! Yay! Good job dropping weight. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> Good job dropping weight. Good job weight. dropping weight. That brings his total to 83.8. I lost big fat zero, and I'm still at 80.8. But, um, you know, I kind of expected it. There was, you know, stuff that might, you know, make you weigh a little bit more um, going on. So uh-huh. I, w- I was happy with that. It was it was like I lost seeing the big zero. So I was f- totally fine with it. So Jay carries the weight of the team this week of, of a team, Team Valentine, mm-hmm. with a total of one pound lost, making our grand total 164.6 pounds. Yeah. So, so yeah, we did a good job. I'm I'm so happy. And I actually <laughs> started listening to everybody. Um and I said, Okay, I wasn't gonna keep my goal weight at one fifty. I changed it up to one sixty. Mm-hmm. Because if I went to one fifty I wouldn't look healthy anymore. Right. So right. I'm even closer to my goal. So I'll reach that in a few in a well, few weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. Um on a few weeks um here and Sorry about the noise. I'm I'm really trying to find um Jay was not prepared. I was not prepared, man. I tell you, I'm I'm actually kind of sad about it that I wasn't prepared. <laughs> well, can we give can I give you a pass because we haven't, you know, cuz we haven't done this in a long time? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a pass, but you know what? I think I want to do one of my custom songs. You What's do this one sound like? Oh, I don't like no, that. You don't one. like that one? Mm-mm. You know, what about this one? It's a little better. We can go with that, but just turn it down a little bit. <laughs> we can go with that one. Because right. we got to get this, try this on the road. We gotta, so I can say blech. That's good. All right. All right. Okay. So, yeah, we have a try this. And um, we have, um, you know, Punk Go for 76. You're going to appreciate this. Um, we saw in the chat room, you talked about, you know, we know that you sent some chips off to Scott and um, Brian. Oh, popcorn? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was glancing. I try not. To <laughs> Thank you, babe, for keeping me. You're welcome. Um, and we welcome you to send us some. <laughs> um, we actually, um, I know Malinor um, is going to send is to send us some 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 stuff. Who is he? Yep. Oh, yep. I'm excited. Yep, he is. And this does not stay on repeat. How about that? How you like them dollars? <laughs> Hello, Jay. This is part of the show. This is great. I know. I'm like off my game because it's like. I mean, because I'm so beautiful and I keep distracting you. Yeah. Right? Is that? Yeah. yeah it I is. Figure, yeah. It, um, so it happens. So it's a lot. A lot of you may know. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's just. Okay. Can, screw the music. Screw the music. So, um, Lay's has put out three chips that they're voting on. They're voting on chicken and the waffles. Chicken and waffles. Chicken and guys. waffle chips. Um, sriracha, which I'm excited about, mm-hmm. and cheesy garlic bread. Which, I like cheesy garlic bread. Chip, right. Chip, chip. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, so. um, <laughs> so we have, we have, you know what, I found it. I know how to do it. Here we go. Who's ready? Who's ready for me to do the flip, the music? Here we go. Loop. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because... Any any other podcast we're just like, screw it, but not screw it. but not Jay. Yep, not me. Um, so we're gonna be trying these three chips today, and we're gonna do them fast, I guess. And and I love how we bought three bags of them, but we're just gonna try a couple, and that's it. Right. So we're gonna try the three bags and everything. I mean, not three bag, <laughs> the three kinds. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna try. Which one do you wanna try first? Do you wanna try the, the chicken and waffles? Get it out the way. You want to try chicken and waffles to get out of the way. Get it out of the freaking way. So, um, here's the chicken and waffle. You know, we got them in a container here. And um, I'm giving I don't know why you got four. I'm not going to need four. Right, right. Potato chips. So, so, I'll go first. You talk about how awful the idea so is. So, the chicken and waffle, while I'm smelling it, mm, it doesn't, it smells horrible. And it's like, think of it, I don't know. I just, I am not really looking forward to eating this chip because i think it's really gonna be horrible and looking at renee's face um it's not good i'm gonna say they're not good that is <laughs> horrible 
No. It's well, very well, unpleasant. Well, well, go ahead. And t- well, go okay. ahead. If you want to rinse out, Hold I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to try this one, too. And I got I think I have syrup on my hand. And Ugh. All right. Go okay. ahead. So, as, as some of you may or may not know, <laughs> hey, I chewed mine and swallow it. You have to chew it and swallow yours. You you chew while I'm talking. Um, chicken and waffles. Oh, I still have it in my teeth. Um, they it's a dish. It's it's in the south. Well, it's not a south thing. It's not south. Okay, so it's just the everywhere thing. It's supposed to be a soul but, food thing but or something. Oh, a lot of people it was, they would um, they would go out late. Somebody wanted somebody ordered chicken and waffles. Some famous person. Yeah. So so they would go out late and then they would want to eat and it would be like like four in the morning and they wanted you know dinner and breakfast so they got chicken and waffles it's horrible isn't it horrible yeah it's it's horrible <laughs> you can go ahead <laughs> sorry for crunching but it, it's horrible mm-hmm. um i don't even know how that got why did they put that on there i mean it's like it's like having you having pancakes and you have a side of chips on the side and it's just it's just horrible Ugh. Ugh. That's yeah. why I wanted to try it and get that out of the way. Yeah. So, chicken and waffles, no. No, 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 no. Don't. Yeah. I mean, it may be your mm-hmm. thing. That uh, really works. It does cleanse. All right. So, we cleanse our palate, and this is the cheesy garlic bread. And I'm going to have mine first while, you, while Renee talks about this cheesy garlic bread. So, we initially, um, well, it smells like garlic. I'll tell you that much. Um, we saw these on a ad, which was crazy because we hardly ever watch ads because we just fast forward through them. Um, and I was like, as soon as I heard chicken waffles, I was like, gross. But then cheesy garlic bread. I was like, I like garlic bread. Oh, huh. it's not bad. I mean, it's, it tastes almost like a chip, you know. That's a nice taste. Mm-hmm. You know, it has a little cheese, a little garlic. Renee doesn't, doesn't look like Renee likes it. Uh-oh. See, it doesn't bother me that much. I guess after having the chicken and waffles, I was kind of like, Ugh. too much garlic. Yeah. Okay. Yep. If it was a little less garlic, like it needs to be like more of like a callback to garlic, not pal garlic on this chip and say here. Well, these chips remind me of the cheddar and what's the chip? The cheddar and um, the the crinkle ones, cheddar and onion or oh the ruffles. Yeah, the ruffles, the cheddar chips. That's what that reminds me of. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm actually really excited <laughs> about this next chip we're going to try. And it is sriracha chips. I mean, they are, they are zero for, for two with me right now. Right, right. And the sriracha chips, I'm going to go ahead and take my, because I think it's going to be good. Go for, uh-huh. I'm going to take mine. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm, but I'm going to talk. I'm going to smell the chip. And everything. I'll try mine while you do all that drama. You know, I can smell the sriracha a little bit. I'm a, I'm excited about this and, <laughs> and everything. I'm just really I'm I'm really I'm really excited to see what Renee. Oh, Renee had an awesome um, mm. uh, reaction. She mm. had a it's good, and all of a sudden, ooh. So ooh. 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 all. Ooh. Oh, see, I, I'm thinking it's spicy. Slow, that's a slow burn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my hold goodness. On. Hold on a second so I can talk. Oh, hold no. on. Just hold on. Can, can I eat? Oh. We can't both eat at the same time. Hold on. Okay, no, I'm Just not going to eat it right now. Oh, Renee said it's a slow burn. That is my favorite thing about sriracha. So I think they got it right. I so hope that this chip is the one to win because I love sriracha. And well, I, well, I think it'll win by default. So, um, Jay's trying it out. The taste jolts me. It's a little odd at first. But then as you chew it, it gets better. Did you see? Mm. It has a slow burn, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we, we really need to try this more. Here, take this because I know you want the rest. No, I'm not going to eat them now, but oh my gosh. I, oh, man. Is that better than you thought it would be? <clears throat> <laughs> See, even Jay has to get a sip of water. It's a, it's a little spicy, a little on the spicy side. But uh, yeah, he's a big fan of sriracha. Dude, do that. 
listeners, <laughs> we have a winner in my book. By, and a winner by default. For the Valentine cast. Uh, uh, how do you feel about... How do you feel about the sriracha? I wouldn't eat them, but I can see why it wins by default. Because the other ones were kind of bad. So this one is meh to me, but meh uh-huh. wins above kind of bad. I know it okay. ranks a little higher for you. Well, but, uh, yeah. honestly, the first... the f- Okay, so we tried the BLT. You remember the BLT I do. chips we tried? Mm-hmm. Kind of reminds me of that. When we had them, we got tired of the taste, remember? Well, yeah, it didn't take long. So we got tired of the taste. And that's kind of kind of where it went. I think people need to see the video of us doing this one because our faces are. Well, your face was classic. I mean, you know, I hate bad food. Food is supposed to taste wonderful. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and yeah. So we're gonna go past the, that unpleasantness, uh-huh. and we're gonna go on to the new dish that we made this week. Yep, you made an awesome dish this weekend, mm-hmm. Renee. Um, this is her week. Um, she wanted to try a slow cooker. Um slow cooker recipe that was low in calories and what slow cooker recipe was that uh slow cooker veggie lasagna um i saw this because 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 i love pasta Uh and i love slow cooker stuff so why not combine it um the recipe i put even more vegetables in the recipe called for Mm -hmm. uh i thought it was going to you know come up to the middle of my crock pot because it's a it's it's um Noodles on the bottom, right? And then you know your sauce and your cheese, and then another layer of sauce cheese, then another layer of noodles. So that's right. three layers of noodles. I right. thought it was gonna come up to like the middle of my crock pot. Mm-hmm. It came to the very top of my crock pot. It was so much lasagna. Well, one um, one was because you had the spinach in there. Yeah, we had spinach in there, but, right. and, but it didn't. But it didn't go down. Mm-hmm. Maybe because there was air pockets in there. But man, so uh, it turned out really well. Uh, we had to throw some of it away just because we we can't have lasagna four days in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, so it has to get thrown out. But uh, I think it worked out. I I had to tweak it before we post it because I wouldn't post it in its current form. Okay. Okay. It needs some improvement. Some improvement, and with that, take us right into a little bit of odds and ends. <laughs> Good night, Paula. Have fun doing homework. Bye. Talk to you later. All right. So, um, this, excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> I heard that. Okay. Here, here we go. Okay. Just give you a heads up. <laughs> Chicken and waffle lays. We ate three of those chips, right? Mm-hmm. One of each. Mm-hmm. The chicken and waffles was the smallest chip I ate. It was horrible. I had that. I had the Parmesan cheese, the Parmesan garlic, I mm-hmm. mean the cheese, cheesy garlic, mm-hmm. and the sriracha. Right. I just belched. From those three chips? From those three chips. And I, you want to guess? Are you sure it's not from but, dinner? Well, it's not from the chips. It may be from dinner. But do you know You know what I tasted when I belched? Chicken and waffles. The chicken and waffle and you chips. You ate that first. That's horrible. That is horrible. That's the most horrible. See, belches, sometimes they bring a little present, like awesomeness, like, ooh. That was that, was that dinner tasted that was good. Steak I had. Yeah, uh, but no. That's but yeah, that was the chicken and waffles. After Ew, all that, I'm so sorry. And that was horrible. Um, so birthdays this week, you have one on the list, and one. and you asked me, uh-huh. and I failed to give you the ones that I have. That's okay. Well, I would do the one that I have. All right. It is my cousin uh, Marlon's birthday. His uh, nickname is Puff. Don't ask. It's from a long time ago um so his birthday is tuesday uh-huh. so happy early birthday puff yep. and then on wednesday um i can't remember his first name but guy that owns aegis rings remember the shell mm, mail yeah um, i don't his, remember his, his name either yep his birthday is on wednesday he hasn't tweeted in a while he hasn't he has i think he's been kind of busy mm-hmm. and on thursday i know john anelio doesn't listen to this show oh but his birthday is on thursday so he's not my Facebook friend. He's not. No, nope. yeah, he's my Facebook friend. He must not like me. Um. Well, <laughs> well I think I like his page. I know. I'm not fine. sure. You know what? I'm no, kidding. He is a that that is not his. That's not that's his Facebook page. That's not his. Um, oh, oh, um, it tells you his birthday, even though it's his Facebook page. I, I mean, it's his Facebook page, but <laughs> it's not like his. 
Like TMS Please. has a Facebook page. Right. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that, is it his personal? It's his personal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you too. So, uh, yeah, so those are our birthdays. So happy birthday. And for those of y'all who don't know, if it's your birthday that week and you. Uh, I'm not even done talking about odds and ends yet. What is. No, what I, was are you getting doing? The, I was cheering the music up for the, the it. show. I'm not even ready. Um, if if your birthday is the coming week and you're in the chat room, Jay and I will sing to you. Right, right. This is, this is now a thing. So uh, just putting that out there. Right. So, and I have, before you start to run me out of the building. Oh, I'm not because I still have my black Can- Can- Canadians to do. Yeah, let's do that last because then we can go from that. into. Okay. Okay. So, uh my work had this rewards program called stars Mm -hmm. and every year you're there you earn that number of stars for up to like six six years i think and then after that you get six every year right right. so i've been there for five years well almost five and i had 11 stars you can also get stars if customers say did, did something exceptional or someone else nominates you for a star right so i had 11 stars and i knew about the program when i first started i didn't even look through the catalog mm-hmm. um because i just started so i didn't know if i would be there so <laughs> right and but so they're ending the program uh and i was like why are they ending that so are they ending the program oh it's kaput okay no more no more stars program. So they said if you don't spin your stars by the 28th of February, they're gone. Okay. So I was like, man, okay, I go spin my stars. I thought I'd get like, I don't know, a backpack. Right. Something like that. A t-shirt. A t-shirt. I looked at the catalog. Wow. They, they had, had stuff for hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands, hundreds of dollars they had like, worth of stuff. You know, um, iPads. Mm-hmm. treadmills i mean it was stuff that ranged Bikes. from like two hundred dollars all the way up to probably like four right. five hundred dollars and this is just 11 stars they had a tier for 20 stars it's ipad and all this like like tv tv flat screen tvs like they had round trip tickets on american yeah, airlines so, crazy. so after i saw that i said oh that's why they're ending stars because we're a smaller company Mm -hmm. and back then when i joined we were a really small company so they could afford to do that but now with all these people they can't afford it so it kind of makes so what did you end up getting uh i ended up getting a mixer right the the kitchenaid mixer the kitchenaid mixer the 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 very expensive one it was between that and a nintendo ds and you'll be like why do you use the ds because the ds costs less right than a mixer and because, honestly, and I plus Renee knew that if she didn't get it, it was a good chance she may have gotten it for her birthday. That would have been something. horrible. Is that what you were, you were gonna get me? No, nah, it, oh. it was the other thing. Oh, uh, that's horrible. I don't even know what the other thing is. But anyway, <laughs> um, so <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm getting a mixer, and I'll probably get a Nintendo DS way in the future because I, I I wouldn't play it. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited. It's well, 3DS when you say uh, three, 3DS. Yeah, yeah, what, what did I say? DS. DS. Oh, well, sorry. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew what you meant. I did, uh, and most people should. Maybe everybody didn't. So uh, yeah. So I don't know when that's coming. Jay would have asked them when it's shipping, but me being the person I am. Well, here's the reason why, them. though, is because what happens if it gets sent to the other address that UPS has been known to do? Okay. Okay. I will get in touch. You know, with the uh, HR just, people and ask say, them what the deal is. Say, do they send the email when it ships? That's, that's all you have to say. Do okay. I get notification? They'll probably say, nope. And you'll be like, okay, thanks. So then we'll just have to go over there and glance every day. we have to go over day. there and, and drive by every day and be like. People are going to call the cops on us. We see this car drive by at the, around the same time every day. Yep. And it had these black people in it. Well, they're going to rob us. I know. They're going to rob. They're casing the joint. <laughs> we sure live. And hi we to sure live. COD Zombie Killer 11. I wonder if that's Call of Duty Zombie yeah, Killer 11. Yeah. Yeah. Cod in. Zombie. Oh. Cod oh. Zombie. Okay. I was just I was just making sure. Good good guest, babe. Okay. So, uh, and um, <laughs> somebody put, po- oh, oh, thank uh, Geek posted this on Twitter. They said someone on Etsy made a um, Klingon. Klingon hoodie that has ridges, that has Klingon ridges on it. And the first thing I opened it up and I looked at it, I was like, 
Well, that's just the lady's private part. That's the first thing I thought of. Good luck up with JJ. And I had the, the link in the show notes, but I don't know what Star Trek she's been watching, but that don't look like uh, Klingon Ridges. Right. And someone in the uh, chat room, oh, yes, someone, sorry, someone in the comments, they posted what Worf's Ridges look like if you go to the show more down there. Mm-hmm. And it looks nothing like that. Oh, you need to go home and try again, right? Because that was bad, right? So right. I just had to bring that up because that 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 kind of amused me yep. today. All right, well, cool. I'm gonna kick up a little a little music here. Um, so as you all, it's Black History Month and everything, and we've been talking about famous Black Canadians. Um, I got an email from um, our good listener Jeff Sire Bronco. He said, I thought you might be inter- interested in these two black Canadians for your research this month. They are both pretty amazing people. And these are two people that were actually on my list to look at. Um, two of those folks are Michelle Jean and Lincoln Alexander. And um, um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong. But oh. Michelle Jean, um, she has a, the two dots over the E. Um, she's oh. the first black Canadian to serve as governor general. Oh. And Lincoln Alexander, he is the first black member of parliament. Oh, okay. that's awesome. Yep. Um, the guy that I was going to actually talk about um, this week is a guy by the name of Peter C. Butler III. He Third. is the um, yep. He is the grandson of an escaped slave. Butler was the first black police officer in Canada. Starting in 1883, he spent 50 years in law enforcement with a reputation as a peaceful man. Sometimes he let minor offenders stay at his house instead of tossing them into jail. Aww. Butler rarely carried a gun. Instead, he said to have he said to have kept the peace with a baton in his large hands. So. <laughs> You yeah. know what they say about uh, men with large hands? What's that, babe? They keep the peace very well. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> how can people get a hold of us, babe? Um, if you can, if you want to write us like Jeff Sire did and tell us about the black people who've done amazing things in your area, um, you can email us at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. And you can also see our blog at valentinecast.com, which has our show notes in the occasional video. Uh, and if you want to know our show times when we start, when we post, the Twitter feed is ValentineCast. If you'd like to call us, you can reach us at 415-75-VCAST. That's 415-758-2278. Video can be seen at YouTube.com slash ValentineCast. We we were almost there. We were Valentine we were doing so well. Valentine cast. My Twitter feed is if you're watching above my head, the cowboy. Oh, here we go. The cowboy is T H E C A O B O I. And if you like to reach Renee, her Twitter feed is above her head. If you're watching, it is the ice flow. T H E I C E F L O W. If you'd like to watch us live, you can do so at twitch. twitch.tv slash valentinecast. And yeah, it's a good time to be had. It is. I agree. I um, want to say thank you to the chat room. Thank you all for hanging with us tonight. It was great having you here. It was great seeing the new folks and seeing the old folks. Yep. Thanks, we, everybody, for We coming really out. appreciate it. And um, we love your support. Yep. So It's part of time to turn up that music. Jay. All right. Y'all have a great week. See ya.
And you know this, man. I had to put on my, my ghetto hat. That was nice because you had to talk like Chris Rock, so you had to put on your ghetto hat. And you know this, man. man. I'm so glad that Danielle is now in the know. Me too. It's pretty bad. There's some. There's a, that's a different movie that she hadn't watched either. Bless her heart. Thank but, you. But oh oh, guess what? Chicken Info butt. on the rooms at Nerdtacular. Oh what? Um, hold on. It is this. It is the link that be, before Tank Girl put up on the tadpole, right there. So let's see the the lodge. All rooms have kitchens. Their rooms include the studio, sleeps one to two with the Murphy bed for $98. Efficiency, two queen beds, sleeps four, $109.32. One bedroom condo, queen bed out in the open, one bedroom with door upstairs, queen sofa bed, sleeps up to six, $187.44. And it's, a, and it's a, in a different wing of the hotel. The Cliff Lodge, which is a more traditional hotel with no fridge, no kitchen, um, she only got one price for that room. The two queen bed for $109.32 sleeps four. You can look closely at their amenities on the web page, blah, blah, blah. Um, they said to book, you pay one night's fee and pay in full three days prior to stay. If you want to room next to someone, <gasps> you can use your confirmation number to try to put you closer. We they have said to book, you pay one night's fee. Now, yeah, yeah, like if you go say 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 that I want to go, you have to pay at least one night. Okay. And then you have to pay total amount before you even get there. Three days before you start okay. start staying there. And so there are some people that we would love to uh -huh. stay beside. So we need to make sure we coordinate with them in the future for this. So. This has nothing to do with the show, but I was just really super excited. So, uh, just make sure you send that information out to whoever. Because I don't, because I want to be able to get a room next to them. I don't want all the rooms to be gone. What's the time? <clears throat> the special rate. That whole week. I said we go kick it with, um, Dark Handers. Mhm. Mm well, I doubt he'll be staying there. No, I'm talking about kicking it at his house. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would love to have the Valentines in his house. Of course, why wouldn't he? Bam, 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 bam. Crumpets are crunk. Crumpets are crunk. I probably, I was really loud right there. Sorry, everyone. <sighs> oh, and it is almost finished. It's almost done. Oh, let's see. Let's hit this. Do you know that? When you said that we went live, you had the nurturing, Coming to you from the nurturing and caring. Um, right. Uh, it uh, had that uh, when it sent out the email that we went live. It, pro it probably doesn't matter. But yeah, and then when I live again, then it said the same thing. It said the other one. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. If it emails you again. Jay and Renee Valentine. Jay. I guess feedback. Jeff Sire. I have to say Jeff Sire did send us. Jay. And Renee. Pl um, platforms you'll be on yet. I assume it's Xbox. Xbox has been. Xbox. Xbox. Renee said Xbox. Xbox. Because I know you want the rest. No, I'm not going to eat them now, but. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Jay. Uh, oh, man. What? That was almost horrible. Chip I've ever eaten in my entire life, and I've eaten some bad chips. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, I'll admit. Video can be seen at youtube.com slash Valentine Quad. That we, was fine. We were almost there. That was the cowboy. Oh, right, here we go. That's so funny. I like that one. Yep. Oh, I almost closed this without. <laughs> 
Okay. Exporting. So, so do me a favor. Yes, ma'am. Will you tell me to calm down? About about the rooms. I mean, if you, you want. You know how I get. Well, okay. Now I. If you want to, we can go ahead and get our room. If you want. No, I'm not anxious about not having enough room. I'm anxious about not being next to people, and it really doesn't matter. Because, in truth, it really, it really doesn't. We matter. weren't next. To, we weren't next to anyone I know, last year. Oh, but we didn't have the opportunity to. I wonder how. I wonder how big. But it is. it's probably not. But well, you could probably call and ask them, and they probably. Well, no, I'm them. more wondering how big the place is. Is it like I go over four buildings? I'm watching this kitten someone? cam. It's so cute. Aww. Oh, Jay. I think next year I'm next year I'm gonna wear my do rag when I'm recording. Can I be ghetto? Next year? Yeah. No, next. Yeah, sure. Next you can do episode. it next year. It's fine. I said next episode. No, you no. You said next year. I did, but then I said next episode. Oh, look at the cute little kittens. Aww. Oh, they're great to play. Oh, Jay. Don't you want a kitten? So, here's my question. So, you said we're not getting another dog. No, we aren't. Right? We are not getting another dog. When they pass away, that's it. Yes, we are done. So, are you saying we're going to get a cat or something? No. I just won't ever have had a cat. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You probably won't. Nah. Eh, nah. Meh. Unless you wanted a cat. Nah, I'm fine. I mean, I just missed out on having a cat in my life, but that's my own fault. <laughs> I should have freaking had a cat before I met you or something. I don't know. Or I should have had a cat oh, before no. I had the dog. I was going to say, don't make it sound like I don't oh, want a cat. Oh, no, it's not your fault. I'm just saying, I, there, there was a span in my life where I could have had a cat. It wasn't like I... When was that? The time I was out of the house to when I met you. I could have had a cat. I'm just saying. But I didn't get the cat. I didn't push for the cat. I didn't even push for the dog that we did get but didn't keep. That's why I was uh, I wasn't gonna bring it. Uh, I, was, I know, but I was I'm saying, we weren't live. <laughs> why? I ate. Uh -huh. But if I did push for it, I could have had a cat. The 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 does that make sense? Probably not. Did you didn't you push for the dog though? Uh no, actually I no didn't have to push for it. Oh, oh, oh you. Didn't. Oh, at the end Did no. Did you push to keep it? That's what I'm saying. Not very hard at all. I didn't for various reasons. Okay. I wanted to keep it. I actually yep. cried. I know. Oh, I know. wow. Wow, you you remember very well. I told yeah. you that a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. it like oh she cried and that's why I remember it? No. It was. I it, bet the people thought I were it was insane. <laughs> it, it was one of the list. What? It was just one of the things on the list. Oh. That did, I remember. Oh. Did I make a list? No. Oh. oh on my list. My list. The my list of things. Things. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's fine. It's we're talking in code it. now, so we're gonna go ahead and go, folks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Oh, we can talk in code later. Mm, no, it's fine. <laughs> Since you, you keep pressing me for answers. You know me. <laughs> oh. And with that, that it's, means the episode is done. Woo -hoo. Let me copy this over. I love how fast we do this now. All right. So that's that. And that's that. Right click. I do the most random tags. It's so funny. I delete yes please if i refresh Save they're draft. both gone hello there i don't have a hello picture there. let's see do we have a picture move oh. to recycle bin picture picture, picture move picture, to recycle picture. bin right there all right um i should have had some been no what now? I don't know. P Pino. Grigio. Pino Grigio. I'm looking. I'm I'm tempted just to pick um a random picture. That's what I'll do. I pick this picture. I, I like pick it. you. I choose you, Pikachu. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I choose you, Pikachu. 
All right, so this is episode 95, presidential. We didn't talk about President's Day and why we were presidential. Just oh, because. we didn't? Nope. We just jumped right into shit. Just well, you know, they can figure it out. I mean, really. Yeah, we have I smart listeners. that our listeners are smart enough to realize what we mean. So do I look, do I look ghetto with my... No. If you put a grill in, if you put a grill in, you would look ghetto. Maybe. It's kind of tough to make you look ghetto. I'm sorry, but you just don't have it. Oh, are we live still? Are we done? Oh, we're live. Hold on. Oh. All right. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.